Next problem number 23. So we want to find out whether this series, which the terms is are 2 over n squared minus 1, is convergent or divergent. So first, we want to write this 2 over n squared minus 1 as a over n minus 1 plus b n plus 1. If we multiply both sides by n squared minus 1, on the left hand side we have 2 and a over n minus 1 multiplied by n squared minus 1 will be a n plus 1 plus b times n minus 1. And this holds true for every n. So in particular, if n equals negative 1, we have an identity that 2 equals plug in n equals 1 here, which is equal to 0. So 0 plus negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2b. So from this, we conclude that b equals negative 1. Now if n equals 1, then 2 equals to plug in n equals 1 to this equation. So we have a times 1 plus 1, 2a, plus 0. Okay, we don't need to write it. Then from here we conclude that a is equal to 1. So this says that 2 over n squared minus 1, so the conclusion is that 2 over n squared minus 1 can be written as 1 over n minus 1 minus 1 over n plus 1. Okay, now since we can write 2 over n squared minus 1 as 1 over n minus 1 minus 1 over n plus 1, can we write the series of 2n squared minus 1 and split it as the series of 1 over n minus 1 minus the series of 1 over n plus 1? What do you think? The answer is no. We only can do this if we know that each of these series is convergent. But here, in fact, this series is divergent because it is a harmonic series. And likewise, this is also divergent. So we cannot do this, but we can still split this summation if we have only finite sum. So if we sum only from 2 to some fixed number k, this equation is true. Okay, now, if we expand the first summation, we have, so we start with n equal to plug in n equals to here we have 1 over 1 just 1 and then when n equals 3 we have 1 over 2 and the last terms will be when n equals k so we have 1 over k minus 1 okay and we do the same for the second summation, we start with n equals 2. So when n equals 2, we have 1 over 3, 1 over 4, up to the last term is when n equals k, so up to 1 over k plus 1. But before 
1 over k plus 1 one term before will be 1 over k and the previous term of that will be 1 over k minus 1 now we want to look at some cancellation that we can perform here so look at this expression 1 half till 1 over k minus 1 oh, I'm sorry should be start from one third somewhere here so let me rewrite here one plus one half plus one third okay and we consider this summation and exactly on the second term we also have the sum from one over three to one over k minus one so it means we can cancel out this and that one so we have 3 over 2 minus 1 over k plus 1 over k plus 1 now the original series which is the sum from 2 to infinity over of 2 over n squared minus 1 is nothing but the limit of the partial sum so the limit of k goes to infinity of the partial sum from 2 to k 2 over n squared minus 1 but we have computed that this partial sums equal to 3 over 2 minus 1 over k plus 1 over k plus 1. So we end up we end up computing the limit of 3 over 2 minus 1 over k plus 1 over k plus 1. When k goes to infinity, this term goes to 0 and also this term goes to 0. So the final answer is 3 over 2.